Hi everyone, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we're going to be putting on the brake calipers using all this kit. Hi everyone, so let's crack on with it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is screw on the calipers. These are just um, Ultegra, as you can see, they are the BR8070 front caliper and rear caliper. This is the rear. I've got some copper grease because as you know I like copper grease um, in case I ever want to get anything out again. Just chunk a load into there and chunk a load into there. Let's take this over to the back. Orientate it the right way around. That would be handy. It's that way. So we'll just crank that through there and that through there, get them to go in, there we go. We're not going to be bleeding them today, um, we're just going to be installing them. So putting them on, cutting the cable to the correct length uh, with the right tools. I'm going to put these up to six newton meters. Boom, that's on and that's on. So that brake is now in and we'll move to the front. There is a little bar at the front here for switching around from between 160 rotors or 140 rotors and you just turn it around depending on which one you need. So I need to take this off and turn it around. So it's a relatively very simple process. There we go, so that one is out that one is out. So the caliper sits up this way. So we go up for 160. So we'll put that back in there now. Things to do with bikes are, aren't very difficult. You just got to have the belief in yourself to be able to do them. It's really simple for those of you that are thinking about doing it. Crank that up. Crank that up. Okay, so and that's going to attach here. Okay, so let's get some little copper grease. So we'll just hang the other one off the bottom. Again, I'll do these up to six. So we'll just crank that one in like this and we'll line them up when we come to put the Put the um, wheels on. At the moment they might be a bit crooked but we're just installing them so just to show you how easy it is. Okay so that's that done. What tools have we got left to use? Well we've got the needle driver and we've got the hydraulic cable cutter here and that's all we really need now. So two different lots of screws, two bleed blocks which I don't need, an olive and a needle. So basically, we're going to put that cable in that hole. We want to cut off a little bit to start with, just so we know how far in the... Uh, these things are brilliant, by the way. Just so we know how far in the brake goes. The front one doesn't really uh, shorten or lengthen when you turn the handlebars, because it's, it's basically through there, straight down the fork. So what we want to do is cut it uh, short again and then see how far it goes in. So we'll take a thumb so we're going to need that much past the hole, about a centimetre. So what I'm going to do is cut it off pretty much at the end of that bolt and we'll put that into there. Yeah that's that is hitting the end, so that's perfect, perfect length. So what we'll do now is we'll take the needle and we'll just push it in slightly. Then we'll get our needle driver, put it up to the mark on the tool, which is about there. We'll brace the hydraulic cable. We'll wind the tool in and push in the needle. 
like so. Slide that out. And we're going to be using the black screw thread. So we've got an olive. Put the olive on, put the cable in the hole, push the olive in and screw it up. We'll bring in Mr. Adjustable. This is the first time I've ever put hydraulic brakes on myself. I usually get the shop to do them. So um, I can tell you that it's not hard. There we go. And that really wasn't difficult considering I've never done it. So this one, we're going to turn the bike over just to make it a little bit easier to get to. Of course, what you mustn't forget is the frame piece. Let's get it in. So there we go. Let's have a close up of that. So there, see? That is with the uh, frame piece in and we're going to be putting it into this break. Again, we'll use the same principle. We'll cut a bit off and there's quite a bit leeway in that frame. Let's pull on it and see what happens. It hardly moves. Okay, hardly. All right, so we'll cut it off till we think we've got it short enough. Again, I'm going to go past just going to cut it off about level with that bolt. That seems to fit perfectly. So what I can do is use this stuff, pour all the stuff out that I need. So we need to put on the screw thread first, then we need to put the olive, not forgetting it, and then we've got the needles like this. We'll get our needle driver, very useful tools. So we'll screw the needle driver in and uh, you can see what that's doing. It's just squashing the needle into the hose. Jobs are good. Push the cable into the frame. Push everything down. So let's do it up. So there we go, guys. Brakes are on. Oops. Moving across to the rear one. It's not difficult to do. Just have some faith in yourself. So thanks for watching this episode. If you like the channel, give me a thumbs up and a like. Please subscribe, helps the channel to grow. And we'll see you on the next edition of Kairos House. Take care, bye.